They protested him. They called him names. He won anyway. They impeached him twice on ridiculous pretenses. They fabricated a lot about what happened on January 6th in order to impeach him again. It didn't work. He came back. Then they indicted him. It didn't work. He became more popular. Then they indicted him three more times. And every single time his popularity rose. So if you begin with criticism, then you go to protest, then you go to impeachment, now you go to indictment and none of them work. What's next? I mean, let, you know, graph it out, man. We're speeding toward assassination, obviously, and no one will say that. But I don't, I don't know how you can't reach that conclusion. You know what I mean? Like they have decided, permanent Washington, both parties have decided that there's something about Trump that's that's so threatening to them they just can't have him. I mean, they're putting him on trial in March of next year in the J6 case which basically consists of trying to send him to prison for the rest of his life for complaining about the last election. That's literally what it is. Again, if this were happening in Moldova, the State Department would issue an all-hands-on-deck order to let the world know this is not a legitimate government. And yet our government is doing it. It's like, it, I, it's, it's really, it's hard to overstate how bad this is. And I'm not, I, I don't, I don't know where it's going, but there's a collision that's clearly imminent. And by the way, the president is senile in a way that's impossible to deny. Biden's not running the government, you know? So, like, I don't know. I've never been this worried about anything as I am about where this is going. I was driving by.
Merle. That's Merle Travis. Here's the lick that Red showed me. It's Merle Haggard. Like Merle Haggard. Thank you. This is the world's greatest lick. The Ventures. Jerry, to my man. He says, Bill, you're gonna drive me to drink if you won't quit. 